Hello and good evening. My name is Marcus Ruiz Evans, president of Yes California. California, do you remember the last four years? We have been celebrating that Donald Trump was removed from office and that the coronavirus pandemic seems to be coming to a close. But should you celebrate California? We Californians hated Donald Trump because he was opposite of everything we held dear and our California values. When Donald Trump let it be known that he did not like immigrants and wanted to discourage immigration of brown people, we Californians called him a racist. When Donald Trump talked about building a border wall and locking kids in concentration camps on the border in horrible conditions, we Californians called him a white nationalist. When Donald Trump prioritized corporations over human lives, we Californians called him someone who doesn't care about human life. When Donald Trump attacked the press, we Californians said he was someone who doesn't care and cannot operate in a real functioning, real-life democracy. When Donald Trump didn't confront dictators and look the other way on human rights abuses, we Californians said he doesn't respect human decency and democracy. When Donald Trump pursued partisan politics, and didn't reach out to the other side to work with them, we Californians said he is incapable of operating in a democracy. When Donald Trump used stimulus checks to showcase how great a president he was, we Californians said that he doesn't act like a democratic leader, but rather a cheap tin pot ruler. When Donald Trump started a disastrous trade war with China that hurt American businesses in mass, we said that he doesn't care about the California economy or us because we are linked to international trade, especially with China. When Donald Trump argued with dictators and got into name calling with them and almost started a world war with nuclear weapons, we Californians said the man is so dangerous he should not be near power. When Trump refused to listen to the idea of defunding the police in order to end police violence, we Californians said he doesn't care about black lives. When Trump passed a weak executive order as president to issue police reform immediately, we Californians said he's not actually interested in police reform at all. When Trump attempted to kill Obamacare so there would be no hope of achieving single payer or universal health care, we Californians said he was literally a monster who doesn't care if people get sick. When Trump backed fracking for oil and building more pipelines, we Californians said he doesn't care about climate change or forest fires, which have destroyed our mountains and our air quality goals here. When Trump insulted Latinos by attempting to reach out to them with a picture of a taco salad, we said, as Californians, that he was so out of touch that he was essentially a white nationalist. When Trump insulted African Americans, we Californians said that he was racist. We were right as Californians. We were right to call out Trump for these acts. They are the opposite of California values, all of these acts. But then what does this say, California? May 2021, quote, Biden is now walking back his proclamation statement that his administration will not build border walls. March 2021, Biden also placed kids in cages in concentration conditions and kept them from showers and lawyers and forced them to sleep on mats on the floor, just like Trump. Quote, hundreds of immigrant children and teenagers have been detained at the Border Patrol tent facility in packed conditions, with some sleeping on the floor because there aren't enough mats. Quote, some of the youths told the lawyers they have been at the facility for a week or longer, despite the agency's three-day limit for detaining live children. Quote, Despite concerns about the coronavirus, the children are kept so closely together that they can touch the person next to them, the lawyer said. Some have to wait five days or more for, to shower, and there isn't always soap. Quote, President Joe Biden's administration denied the lawyers access to the tent facility. Quote, during the administration of former President Donald Trump, attorney visits to the Border Patrol stations revealed severe problems, including dozens of children held at one rural station without adequate food, water, or soap. Quote, published by Axios on Monday, showing migrants crammed into pods divided only by a plastic sheet. 
The pods were meant to house 260 individuals, but that one of them held more than 400 unaccompanied, unaccompanied minors. The Biden administration has refused media access to the facility. Quote, showing children packed together by the hundreds, wrapped in mylar blankets inside makeshift holding shells, the images prompted comparisons to the Trump administration, which was denounced in 2018 for putting kids in cages. Quote, on immigration, Biden's first hundred days and Trump's last hundred days are hard to tell apart. Quote, while the conditions may be similar to 2018, the policies are different. Quote, it's unclear how much has changed at the CBP Border Patrol Processing Facilities. March 2021, quote, Biden tells potential migrants don't come to the U.S. April 2021, quote, Joe Biden signed an order on Friday limiting U.S. refugee admissions this year to the historically low 15,000 cap set under his predecessor, Donald Trump, shelving a plan to raise it to 62,000 or more. April 2021, Biden continues the Trump policy of protection for corporations over the lives of millions who could die from this pandemic. Quote, now that Biden is power, his perception of our interest doesn't seem quite so clear. Last year, India and South Africa requested a waiver from the World Trade Organization rules governing intellectual property for technology dealing with the pandemic. Dozens of mostly developing countries have since joined them. A handful of rich nations, including the United States, opposes that waiver. April 2021, quote, but the United States and other wealthy nations have helped block the petition with officials worried that it would throw global vaccine production into disarray, prompting advocates to complain that the White House is prioritizing drug companies' billion-dollar profits rather than the billions of people still waiting for their first shots. May 2021, Biden copies Trump policy of using the government to shamelessly promote his campaign. Quote, Americans who got a stimulus check from the federal government in the third round of direct payments this spring can also expect a letter from President Joe Biden. The one-page letter, which has started arriving in the mailboxes of recipients, was mailed by the Internal Revenue Service, but written on White House stationery and includes Biden's signature at the bottom. It is similar to a letter that Donald Trump sent out last year, prompting accusations that he, Donald Trump, was politicizing a federal agency. February 2021, Biden picks the Trump policy of intimidating journalists over the Barack Obama stance on the issue. Quote, advocates for Assange had hoped that President Biden's administration would opt to drop the case, which the Obama administration had declined to charge over concerns that doing so would put press freedoms at risk. Quote, the decision to prosecute him was a political act by the Trump administration and part of its war on journalism. Assange's partner, Stella Moore, said in a statement, she urged the Biden administration to drop this politically motivated prosecution. March 2021, quote, Biden has left Trump's China tariffs in place. That's after three months of being president. April 2021, Biden has kept Trump's polarized politics. Quote, when President Biden addresses a joint session of Congress on Wednesday night, he will do so having failed to act in one of his biggest campaign promises, to unify the country and reach across party lines. April 2021, quote, then Biden, candidate Joe Biden, promised to restore bipartisanship to the nation's political debates. Polls showed most voters, most voters didn't believe it would happen. Since Biden took office, that voter skepticism has proven wise. Biden's $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief package passed without any GOP support. Quote, the less conservative Republicans in the Senate, such as lawmakers Susan Collins of Maine and Mitt Romney, and Rob Portman of Ohio had hopes of being Biden's deal-making partners. Instead, they found themselves mostly on the outside as Biden works to maintain unity exclusively within his Democratic Party. April 2021, Biden doesn't want to confront or upset authoritarian governments with histories of civil rights, horrors, and abuses. Quote, Biden won't penalize the Saudi crown prince over Khashoggi's killing. Quote, the crown prince, who the U.S. says ordered Khashoggi's silencing, was left untouched. February 2021, quote, Biden dismisses Uyghur genocide as part of China's different norms. April 2021, quote, Joe Biden on the brink as killer Putin slur crosses Russia's red line amid troop buildup. Quote, however, many have warned that Mr. Biden's threatening words could have unwelcome results. Quote, 
Sarah Rainsford, the BBC Moscow correspondent, speaking during the broadcaster's Start of the Week program, warned that many in Russia saw Mr. Biden's claims as crossing the line, sparking fears of another Cold War. November 2019, quote, Joe Biden tells Latino activists, you should have voted for Trump over criticisms of his Obama deportation. March 2020, quote, Joe Biden says that he still opposes Medicare for All system for health care coverage, arguing that the policy isn't the virus, isn't the answer to the growing coronavirus pandemic. Interesting. April 2021, Joe Biden shuts down the police oversight committee that he could do by executive action in order to focus on a law he knows won't pass dealing with police violence. Quote, the White House shelved a proposed police oversight commission this week to focus on a police reform bill that has narrow hopes in Congress. The move comes as anger grows over the killing of another black man, Dante Wright, who was stopped by police just miles from where George Floyd was. January 2021, quote, environmentalists and labor unions that threw their support behind U.S. President Joe Biden now find themselves on opposite sides of a battle over the construction of a big pipeline project between Canada and the U.S. of A, America. January 2021, quote, Joe Biden still isn't banning fracking. December 2020, Joe Biden said, quote, to hell with you to top African-American civil rights officials and refused to follow any of their suggestions on using executive action and executive committees to deal with police oversight and reform. April 2021, Biden opposes defunding the police. That's just like Donald Trump. Biden did reverse himself on some of these decisions, but the question is why? Now, he only reversed himself on a few, maybe about 20% out of the whole list. The others he kept in place. You saw many times where the news was saying this is identical to the Trump policy. Why did the decent president choose of his own will to do exactly what Trump did on so many issues? Why is the person who is supposed to be the opposite of Trump in America doing many of the exact same things and following many of the exact same actions and acting many of the same policies and continuing the exact policies as Donald Trump that we were disgusted by in California? They say Joe Biden is a moderate and trying to appeal to all of America to unite them that his policies are an attempt at national unity and a combined government. But that admits that a real majority of America is okay with these ideas or will tolerate them. The exact same acts as Trump did in so many areas. California, you were upset rightfully when Trump did these things. How come you're not as upset now that Joe Biden literally continues many of the same policies and you saw where reporters are saying the policies may be different, but the actions are literally the same? Joe Biden is continuing the Trump arena. We should be equally disgusted. What Joe Biden is doing is something vastly different from California values and how we would ever run a government here. A question to you, California. How is insulting Latino voters, insulting African-American civil rights leaders, supporting the border wall, supporting kids in concentration camps, supporting limiting refugees escaping violence, opposing single-payer health care, opposing the chief demand of Black Lives Matter, not doing anything by executive authority on police reform, turning the other way on genocide on national TV, CNN, you know, that was broadcast, turning the other way on violence against the press, intimidating the press in a way even Obama wouldn't even try, keeping the disastrous trade war with China, promoting yourself in a gaudy manner like the orange one, protecting corporations of the lives of literal millions of civilians, promoting partisan politics the first day you're in office and throughout, telling immigrants don't come to America, name-calling world leaders in a way that almost starts a World War III with nuclear weapons, supporting pipelines that move us toward a climate disaster, and supporting fracking that destroys our climate in line with California values. They are not. Joe Biden has done all of these things, and they are all continuations of the Trump policy. Now, he reversed himself on a few things after he was called out. But his first inclination as the decent non-Trump president was to do exactly what Trump said. Those are literal quotes. Here's a little bit of insight. In March 2020, Bernie Sanders beat Joe Biden among registered voters by over 10 points. Now, California voters are majority Democrat, and they are more conservative than the average Californian. 
simply because most voters are older. And more of them voted for liberal Bernie than mainstream Biden by over 10 points, which is a serious beating. It's equivalent to the famed blue wave that never happened that they said America was going to repudiate Donald Trump by. So Biden was beat hard in California in the primary against Sanders. Biden is supposed to represent the Democratic Party. But here, a majority of Democrats overwhelmingly selected Bernie over Joe. I want to repeat that. A majority of Democrats in California overwhelmingly chose Bernie Sanders over Joe Biden. California voters, the majority of whom are Democrat, are typically more conservative than the average Californian. What this means is that California is a place that loved Bernie Sanders' policies. And that if we actually had a vote where everybody was involved, the vote for Bernie over uh, Joe would be much higher. I'm not particularly a supporter of uh, Bernie Sanders. I think he wasn't able to explain how he's going to pay for these things. But I'm also Californian. And I also have two eyes and a brain. And I recognize this place is Bernie Sanders' territory. It is not Joe Biden territory. When we had a primary, people picked Bernie over Joe by over 10 points. And that was by the voters who are majority Democratic and majority conservative, more conservative than Californians, which means actually Californians probably want Bernie by over 20 points compared to Biden. This is why you will see many of the things that Joe Biden actually does are not in line with California values. Why is that okay? We were told this was the return to decency, the soul of America, a repudiation and trial of Trump. And yet many of the policies are exactly the same things that we were disgusted by. It's almost like a majority of America and the true soul of America that's decent is just another shade of Donald Trump. 